Hello, I'm Dr. Gerald Chodak and this is ProstateVideos.com. The purpose of this video is to draw attention to a treatment called Prostarcision that is promoted for the treatment of localized prostate cancer. It was developed or it was marketed by a company in Atlanta and is, it's extended to several other centers in the United States. Essentially what it is, is a combination of seed implantation and external beam radiation therapy. This is not a novel treatment. Many centers around the United States offer this treatment if they believe that it's an appropriate treatment. The problem is that there is so much marketing going on that patients need to be aware there may be a lot of misinformation that is being presented. For example, the center claims in their advertising that it has the highest proven cure rate for prostate cancer. This is simply not a fact based on good, well-controlled trials. The authors have tried to make a comparison of studies reported by other institutions with other patients, patients that may have def very different types of tumors with different risk. To try to make any claims that one form of radiation is better than another or one center is better than another is truly impossible in this day and age. In fact, the Agency for Healthcare Research and Quality has done a full analysis of all the well done studies on radiation therapy and it has made the following conclusions. Number one, there's no proof that radiation is actually better than active surveillance or watchful waiting. Number two, there's absolutely no proof that any form of radiation is better than any other form of radiation. The problem is several fold. First of all, for the large percentage of men who are diagnosed with low risk prostate cancer, which means a PSA less than 10, a physical exam in which you don't feel any tumor, and a, PS and a Gleason score of six, the chances of needing therapy are probably only 30%. So to get not only one but two radiation treatments for such a low risk cancer is by and far much more than is needed. Number two, the American Brachytherapy Association has issued a statement in 2007 on their best practices saying that for men with low risk prostate cancer, brachytherapy alone is an appropriate treatment. There is no evidence that there's an added benefit by adding external beam radiation. Another concern is the way in which information is presented about potential side effects. They claim in their website that this treatment kills all prostate cancer cells, which is not necessarily true at all. They also talk about their side effects in terms of urinary control compared to radical surgery, stating that radical surgery usually cuts a quote, large muscle during the operation, leading to high levels of incontinence. In fact, there's no good proof that significant urinary control differences occur with radiation combined with external beam and comparing it to seeds or surgery. So there's a lot of misinformation here. And anyone who's considering this ought to make sure they get fully informed about what is known and about what is not known about this treatment compared to the other options available. From the best information available, men with localized prostate cancer can consider all of the options that are open to them and know that there is no proof that any form of treatment is any better than any other. And attempts to claim highest cure rate in the world is simply going to lead with misleading information. I hope you find this information useful and I hope that you do your homework to make sure you find out when information is being presented honestly and accurately and when it is not.